you came across this question in the NEET exam, which means National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. How will you solve it? It's actually very easy. Now, let's solve this question together. The question says, for the reaction, this is the reaction. Now, first of all, me looking at this question, I have to denote the topic to which this question is from. And from all what I'm seeing in this question, I already know that this question is from the topic in chemistry called chemical equilibrium. So solving this question, I have to solve it carefully because it's actually very easy. So this question is from the topic in chemistry called chemical equilibrium. So how do we solve it? Here is a reaction given to us. And this reaction is at equilibrium. How did I know that this reaction is at equilibrium? I saw the sign called the reversibility sign. You can see one of the arrows going towards the forward direction. The other arrow is coming backward. Are you getting me now? So seeing this alone, it tells me that, okay, this question is from chemical equilibrium. And now the question says, KC at note kc means equilibrium constant expression written in terms of concentration equilibrium constant expression written in the terms of what concentration c here means concentration so according to this question it says kc at 427 degrees celsius is this value which is three times 10 raised to the power of minus six per liter moles but basically it should be called moles per liter that's the unit of concentration moles per liter are you getting me now full stop the value of kp is nearly so how do we solve it is very easy so me looking at all of this parameter i already know the formula to apply to solve questions under this aspect and the formula is simply this i'm about writing on the board and it is kp is equal to kc into bracket close bracket rot raised to the power of change in numbers of moles of the gases listen i repeat kp is equal to kc open bracket rt close bracket all raised to the power of what change this sign means change and n here means numbers of moles and GA means gases. So all of the species in this reaction should all be in gases. I believe you can see that. So moving further, how do we solve this question? So we have to note what each of the parameters mean here. KP here means equilibrium constant expression written in terms of pressure. I believe you can see P here. And KC here means, I've said earlier that it means equilibrium constant expression written in terms of concentration that that's what c here means uh, open bracket rt arrow is a constant called the molar gas constant okay it can be of two which i will tell you as we solve this question and t here means temperature which must always be in kelvin scale but the temperature in this question is in degree celsius so we have to convert to kelvin raise the power of what the numbers of moles of the gases so let's talk together the question is asking us to get kp so kp now because of kc kc was given in the question already so we'll just impute which is three times ten raised to the power of what minus six moles per liters so moving further open bracket close bracket now now moving further here is arrow called the molar gas constant and this molar gas constant which is arrow can be of two it can be 0.0821 or 8.314. Are you getting me now? But in most cases, we use this constant. Please note what I'm saying. We use 0.0821. Though there is a reason, but note it. Do you understand? Note what I just said. The constant we have to use is 0.0821 times temperature, which is T. Now, I already said that your temperature should be converted to Kelvin. So how do you convert degree celsius temperature to kelvin you simply add 273 to your degree celsius i believe you are following so kelvin will now be equal to degree celsius 427 plus what now 273 is equal to so 427 plus 273 that's 700 kelvin so we have in here to be 700 kelvin k so times 700 
close bracket. So guys, moving further, how do we get the change in the numbers of moles of the gases? Watch. Now, it's very easy. We simply come here and solve it for the change in number of moles of the gases. Change in numbers of moles of the gases is equal to numbers of moles of product minus numbers of moles of reactant. Now, here is a reaction. It has two sides. This is the product side and as well, this is the reactant side. In my product side, what was the total numbers of moles? For the product, you can see that one of the species had two moles and another of them, though you are not seeing nothing, you are seeing nothing here, you take it to be one. Whenever you are seeing nothing, standing in front of an element, it's basically one moles. So then, for my product, I have two plus one, that's three moles, three moles. So numbers of moles for the product side is equal to three minus, what about the reactant? In my reactant, I had just one species and that one species was carrying how many moles? Two moles. So it's going to be two. So numbers of moles of the gas species is going three minus two. That is one. So raise our answer. Raise everything to power one. I believe you are following. So let's impute the parameters into the calculator to get the answer without stress. It's very easy. So we first of all write three times 10 raised power of minus six. Open bracket 0 0.0821. Note this constant that is what you are using to solve questions under this aspect times 700. Close bracket all raised to the power of 1. So I had um, KP to be 1.724 times 10 raised to the power of minus 4. I believe you are following. So this is the answer we got. And they said that the value for KP is nearly. It's nearly what well, this value is nearly what well value option B is the answer to this question It's actually very easy okay so if you find this video lesson helpful and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel do well to hit on the subscribe button and also share these lessons with your friends thanks for watching